The cool thing about Racing Electronics here, uh, we're at the PRI show. The cool thing about Racing Electronics is all the partnerships we have with all of the sanctioning bodies. World Racing Group, one of them, of course, World of Outlaws and Super Dirt Car Series Modifies, Extreme Outlaw Midgets. Racing Electronics is all part of it. I'm Steve Post with Wing Nation, joined by Brian Carter, the CEO of the World Racing Group. Brian, always good to catch up with you here at PRI. Yeah, no, we're a little bit later in the program than we are, and I'm kind of exhausted now. Friday afternoon is starting to get to me. So. Well, I'm, I'm glad we're later in the program. Program. You and I joked earlier, we usually have you first thing Thursday morning, and then you guys make announcements and announcements and drivers commit and everything like that. We're behind some of them. How has the show been for you guys? It's been a great show. We get to, This is a relationship show for us. We've got our schedules done. We've got a lot of uh, most of our driver commitments already done. So it's really about just seeing everybody that's important to us and, and socializing a little bit and then making sure uh, if we see anything shiny and new, we're taking a look at it, make sure it makes sense for us. So yeah. it's a great, great show, great time to see people and, uh, and really see the expanse of our sport it truly is that's for sure i want to just knock down through some of the series that you have world of outlaw um not so drink sprint cars 86 races something new something old the return of the crown jewels just when you put this schedule together um how's it look how do you feel about your 86 race schedule it looks great and i didn't put it together carlton and his team and all of our promoters put that together so it's a it's spectacular uh, we're gonna have a great show uh great shows all year long we're gonna spend three weeks in texas so you're, you're can get to Texas early, come see us in Texas. Uh, big big weekends in Florida to start the season off and coming back at Bike Week. If you haven't seen the Bike Week crowd, it's interesting for sure. So, and then, you know, it's it's uh, a lot of the same there in the middle and then some big shows in California in the fall with uh, Dennis Roth Classic and 83,000 to win and some uh, some things to announce on some of the other pieces where we've enhanced some prize money and, and um, it's going to be a spectacular year for the sprint cars. You mentioned Texas, okay, and there's been a little bit of a theme here at this show, and it involves 410 sprint car racing. The MSTS is a regional 360 tour that's going to run some 410 races. ASCS now has an elite tour down in the Texas area, 410 racing. We've seen some of the big events are swapping from 360 410. Are we seeing a little bit of a trend here, a little bit of a, a move toward 410 racing? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's nice. I, I grew up in Texas and, uh, and and love the sport and grew up with the Outlaws, and uh, it, they're seeing, again, a, a move movement uh, back for all of sprint car racing and 410 racing is growing again in Texas and Oklahoma so we're really excited to help support that with some big events uh, the ASCS is important to that that region and we continue to work with them on our scheduling so it's a it's a it's a co collaboration to make that all work and and uh, 410 racing uh, now is is uh, becoming more and more prevalent so hey I'm it's I'm great I'm excited for it because we're going to be spending three full weekends in Texas and then some more in Oklahoma so we're gonna need that region to continue to grow and prosper. Lots and lots of good stuff, that's for sure. We had Steve Francis on. He talked a lot of the nuts and bolts about the World of Outlaw Case Construction Light Model Program. Uh, but you, you can look that up on YouTube and find that. But uh, just as the uh, as the overall uh, overall uh, operator of this thing, Steve, in his second year coming back, that's had to be a tremendous ad for you guys to get him and as they put their first schedule together like this. Yeah, no, it's it's great. Steve Steve brings a lot of stability to the Light Model Program. Uh, he helps broaden our perspective from a racer's perspective and a track promoter's perspective. So it's a, he's a great dad very very brings stability to the to our late model program we work close to him and again just like Carlton turn them loose and give them the objectives and let them run and he's doing a great job uh, creating a, a really dynamic schedule for us and, and creating a roster of drivers that will be unmatched so really excited about the late model program we added you know all of our crown jewels are there added uh, Deer Creek to us this year back got that one back so it's a late model program I the rosters is going to be spectacular too so I'm really excited about uh, that program too too. It's, it's, there's so much going on, it's hard to hit all the details and we'd be here all afternoon. I know, it's fascinating, it really truly is. So much going on with the World Racing Group. Uh, my beloved Big Block Modified Super Dirt Cars here. You've survived Super Dirt Week again. I'm, I'm thinking it was barely, but uh, really what Dean Reynolds and everyone has going on in the Northeast, how are things in modified land? It's good. It's, uh, you know, that's a, a tough region, uh, lots of racing, so you got to manage that in carefully. Uh, Super Dirt Week was spectacular again. We had, you know, three and a half inches of rain during our race program, so uh, we we ran that on Monday, uh, 400 laps on Monday. Had a great race, great racing. The surface was perfect. The campers were having a lot of fun. It's just Mother Nature did not turn us loose. We had a great, the hard part was we had 80 degree weather all the way up until Friday, and then it turned.
to uh, lose three and a half inches, and we still had a great race on Monday. So uh, excited about that program, expanding the wings a little bit on that one. We're going to get ready, going to get started in Florida again. So come and see us at Volusia with the big blocks. They're going to be running uh, with the with the World of Outlaws Lay Model Series. So it's going to be, you know, that's a, a, a great time to come and see everybody uh, in Florida in February. So big blocks are great. Uh, the the, uh, the region is uh, strong. It's got its ups and downs in different places, but uh, another strong year for big block racing. Yes, indeed. The Extreme Outlaw Midget Series, the second full year of that tour. Um, what are you learning about midget racing and, and, and how is that looking forward? Well, it fills a great gap for us from when we've been supporting the, the micro racing and the, the, the kart racing at Millbridge and trying to get, you know, see the evolution of these youngsters and, and the Extreme Midget Program fits right in there. Uh, the good thing about the, the midget program this year is we really worked in collaboration with USAC. We've got 32, you know, we've got 30 races, they've got 30 races and t together we don't have that many conflicts. So it allows a team to go race as many as they want to up to 60 without a whole lot of conflict with a, a varied group of racers and got a great champion in Jade. And so it's it's going to be uh, fun to watch and see that development, but to, it really fills the gap for the youth programs. We've been supporting the growth in the stock car classes with uh, youth programs. Now to have the, the open wheel all the way from the, the youngsters all the way through to the World of Outlaw Sprint Cars on the on that program is ex exciting for us, and we continue to grow and develop that that too. It's just fun to watch. One of the things that you and I talk all the time, you come on Wing Nation and you know we talk here, and one of the things I'm just totally guilty of is the overall dirt car program because I get wrapped up in the tours, the four tours that you have there. You guys are involved with so many regional and local tracks as well with the dirt car program. How are the roots of the sport? How, are, how is the dirt car program going? Well, it's hard to generalize 5,000 races. So, you know, it's it's good in some, and, you know, some people are struggling. I mean, it's a struggle in places, you know, depending on the, the economy and the geography. But uh, the, the racing is good. It, it, it's evidence in this building. There's a lot of e commerce. Uh, you can't generalize all 5,000. We've got a great program. Uh, it continues to, the awareness continues to grow. Uh, and our dirt car programs are on, uh, in January the 6th, I believe, we'll be celebrating a banquet with 500 people, almost 400,000 dollars of prize money so we continue to do that and continue to strengthen we added two new regions and our our super mod our super late models so there's just a lot going on and uh, i've got a whole team to take care of that for me too so it's a uh, it's, it's growing not only at the elite in the ground you know at the at the the premier levels but at the ground level too and it needs to all work in balance and right now i feel pretty good about that again you can't generalize 5,000 races in all the geographies and all the tracks because everybody has a struggle and everybody Everybody has to work through different things in different uh, in different places. But right now, you know, we're giving them everything we can to make it successful. And uh, the ones that are taking advantage of that are doing well. And finally, a lot of this is all pulled together by your Dirt Vision, your your uh, your platform, your your television platform, if you will. Um, and it just never it never ceases to amaze me uh, the development there. You guys have invested a lot into this, but you have reaped the rewards of a really good presentation. How how does that tie in and how does that work in the overall picture of things? Well, it's an amazing awareness campaign. So that's something that wasn't available to us. You know, we, for all those years, we were really beholden to live TV in order to really create awareness for our sport. And our sport, no matter where you're at, at whatever level, is hard to adapt to live TV. So now we have the, the benefit of being able to adapt live TV to our sport and what it needs. At the same time, creating promotional opportunities within the programs and, and reaching out to race fans and not only carry that but what it allows is the video capture content for all the things that aren't on Dirt Vision, the YouTube, the promotional pieces, the social media, all that con everything is captured now for use in promoting the events and promoting and, and creating engagement with race fans. And that, for me, it creates the resources in order for us to create that awareness, the constant engagement, and tell some of the stories. Now with every lap being recorded, um, not only that, but now we create the opportunities to create the stories behind the laps. What got the truck up and down the road? How do we get our teams up and down the road? How do we get our staff up and down the road? And that's that's what's coming next for us is really to, to show the fans and to show the people that care how things really do work and and having control of the TV network to do that is uh, a, an amazing luxury and that we're able to do that and, and control the messaging to the fans and have some control over the entertainment product that we put on the racetrack and uh, creating those resources that are then again shared through the industry is something I'm very proud of. As you should be. It is amazing stuff. It really is. Brian, it is always a pleasure to catch up with you. We appreciate it.
everything you do with us with Wing Nation and then here with Racing Electronics and the partnership we have here. Always appreciate the time and wish you the uh, wish you the best during this show, the short holiday season that we all have coming up. And then, of course, 2024 is going to be here upon us and it's going to be an awesome year. Well, we thank you guys for spreading the word and Racing Electronics for being the radios. We, we uh, communication, communication, communication is critical to us and having RE on board, it really helps us be able to, to maintain that professional level of communication. And uh, the backbone of what we do is data and communication, uh, providing that to our racers to keep them safe, to our fans and keeping them informed. It's just a critical component and we really appreciate the partnerships, not only spreading the word, but uh, keeping everybody up to date on a real time basis. Absolutely, and we love doing it, that's for sure. Love our dirt track racing. That's Brian Carter, the CEO of the World Racing Group, joining us here, Racing Electronics Display at the PRI Show.